forget what we're after, Fuzzy. Who, me? Yes, you. We only after those posters. We can't have that sheriff plastering those wanted signs all over this new county. It's lucky we found out about them before we tried to settle on these parts. You can say that again. Why is it every time there's a crime committed any place in the state, they drag out their printing presses and blame it on the billy? Because you're always hiding behind them whiskers. Why, you low down... Here comes the stage. Hey, we're just in time. need these now. You're not going to let those numbers interfere. No, it's hey, ethical. We're the ones that are going to do the interfering. Come on. Are you all right, Miss Janet? Yes, I'm all right, but there's something wrong with the sheriff. Looks like the sheriff's been shot. Thanks, fellas. Ah, uh, that was nothing. The sheriff's been shot. Like we'd all been killed if you hadn't happened along. Lucky we did happen along. Kansas. Is Kansas a friend of yours? He's my fiance. Oh, well, that does make him a friend. I've never met Kansas. The only one I know is Sloan. He sent for me to run the gambling tables at the casino. Well, Kansas has a deep scar on his forehead, but I say that you'd swear those two were twins. Sure give me a shock at first. I should think it would. Be careful. That whiskered fellow's watching us. Whoever that fellow is, he's a dead ringer for Ed. Yeah, I noticed that. Ed ain't gonna like the way this thing turned out. I'll say he ain't. That gold's still on the stage. Maybe it ain't too late. Wait, he's coming out. Is he dead? Shot through the back. That's funny. What about those Worry about those later. Is he done for? Yeah. He must have stopped a stray bullet. Plenty stray. Straight through the back. Through the back? Uh, if you don't mind, uh, I'm anxious to get to Sage Valley. Can we continue this investigation when we arrive there? Sure, let's get going. Yeah, come on, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Say, um, do you mind telling me your name? Why, no, ma'am. My name is Billy. Billy what? Just plain Billy. Thank you, Billy. Everybody in? Yeah. Uh, thanks again, fellas. Go ahead. We're driving in town with you. Come on. You just good. What do you make of it, Bill? That sheriff wasn't killed by any straight bullet. Came from inside that coach. Yeah, I didn't like the looks of that gambler, fellow. No one with him. 
They and the girl were the only ones riding inside. God could have done it. Fired down from the seat. Might as well count the driver in. Maybe the girl, too. Yeah. Wonder why she kept asking my name. Uh, here we go again. What's eating you, Fuss? Uh, plenty. Anytime you two fellows start speculating, that's just when we start sticking our noses in trouble. Let dead sheriff stay dead. There's plenty of live ones now. Anyway, I thought we were going after them posters. That's what we're going to do right now. Come on. Fellas looked enough like you, your brother. I ain't got no brother. Forget it. What happened? Well, it happened just as we told you. Them fellas come riding up shooting, and there was nothing else we... Take it easy, Kansas. Yeah, take it easy. What do you want? I came to see you about Harrison. About Harrison? What about him? Well, he refuses to renew the lease on the casino. Refuses, eh? Now get this, all of you. Harrison's next. I want that money in his bank, and I want him out of the way. From now on, I'm taking things over. It's gonna make sense. Now get out. All of you. Will you, Fuzzy? You'll wear yourself out. Always curious and speculating. First thing you know, we're going to be after our next in trouble. Why don't we get while the getting's good? Wouldn't be polite to run out in the mayor. Besides, he said he had something important to talk to us about. Uh, I ain't trouble with manners when I smells trouble. I tell you, I sees that guard who took them posters into the sheriff's office. Five minutes later, when I go in there to look for him, he's gone. A bit of hundred of buttons, he's got him in there somewhere. Quiet. I'm telling you for the last time, Sloan, I won't renew your lease on the casino. You're not trying to tell me, Harrison, that you think I run a crooked wheel. I certainly am. I don't mind the ranchers having some fun, but when I find out that they're being robbed, it's my duty to protect them. Now, if I were you, I'd be careful what I said. Pardon me, Buzz. Well, that guy is taking a long time with the fella. Yeah. You listen to what I'm saying. This town will soon become the county seat. But before that happens, you and your gang are clearing up. That's what you think. Get up. Get up! You asked for it, Harrison. You wait here. All right, Mr. Harrison? Yes, yes, thank you. Haven't I seen you someplace before we met this morning? No, I don't think so. I swear I've seen you someplace. Haven't been in these parts before. You sure? Positive. Well, I guess I must be mistaken. You know, it's funny how you think that you've seen a strange face before. Yeah. Yeah, that is funny. Hey! Oh, come in, you fellas. Make yourself comfortable. Thanks. I guess I'm indebted to you twice. Yeah. 
Wasn't nothing. Well, I'll have to differ with you there. You saved my money on the stage this morning, and now you saved my life. I'm glad to be of service. Mr. Harrison, you said you wanted to talk to us about something. Yes, I did. What you told me this morning about the sheriff being shot in the back was verified to the coroner. Now, the sheriff was my best friend. It was dirty fighting, whoever it was. Yeah, it was one of the lowest tricks I ever used. There's a lot of dirty things going on around here. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. How would you like to have a job working for me? Well, that's a court. Well, the pay will be good, and I'm sure you'll like the work. Can I see him in a jet? Oh, sure, Tim, sure. Come on in. Well, what do you mind, Tim? Well, I wanted to see you play it. Speak right up. These boys are good friends. Well, it's about those IOUs. Well, just a minute. I'll explain to the boys. Uh, Sloan, our recent visitor here, runs the casino across the street. He's taken in Tim and a lot of other ranchers with a crooked roulette wheel. And now he's got their IOUs. And he's demanding his money pronto, or he wants to lean on our ranchers. Well, you go back to Sloan and tell him I'm buying up all the ranchers' IOUs. And I warn you, Tim, if I ever catch you gambling oh, again... Jed, you don't need to worry about me. And I reckon the rest of us have learned our lesson. And thanks again for everything. Not at all. I'll be seeing you fellows around. Right. See Sloan's game? He's ruthless and he'll stop at nothing to gain control of this town. I must get rid of him and his gang peaceful-like. Why peaceful-like? There's only one way to deal with cutthroats. Now you said it. Yes, you're right. It's important right now to have law and order. Sage Valley has got to have a new sheriff. I'm a pretty good judge of men. And if what you did today is any sample, you're the man for the job. Now, what do you say? No, thank you, sir. That's uh, way out of my line. Oh, nonsense. You can handle it all right. I'll think it over. Don't be too hasty in refusing. Uh, decide later. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's your name? My name, uh, Billy. Last name? Uh, 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 Billy Bennett, Billy Bennett. Billy Bennett? Yes, sir, Billy Bennett. an authorization of your appointment as Sheriff of Sage Valley. I can't take this, Mr. Harris. Nonsense. Put it in your pocket and think about it tonight and let me know tomorrow. Well, goodbye, Sheriff. Not me, sir. Being a sheriff is one thing I don't want to know anything about. Goodbye, sir. Fine. Hey, don't let him kid you. He knows more about sheriffs than any man in the state. I bet you this. I bet you I make a better sheriff than a lot of those hyenas I've seen wearing badges. Why, that's a cinch. Hey, <laughs> we better pull out. There's going to be plenty of trouble around here when those poachers show up. more than that. He even tried to tear up his hour use, money that he owed me. Tim was in my office a short while ago. He didn't have any gun then. No. Well, you look. He's got one now. I don't believe you, Sloan. You know I'm getting mighty tired of your talk, Harrison. Maybe so. But I've got just one more thing to say. I'm settling for all the ranchers I owe you, and I want you off these premises to the first. That's 10 days. A lot can happen in 10 days. Too much has happened. 
And as for you, you know a man can get really hurt interfering in other people's business. Is that a warning? Yeah. It's a warning for you to get out of Sage Valley and stay out. Those fellas make three more on our list. Yeah. Well, I'll see you boys later. In the meantime, take over my own. Good luck to you, Mr. Harris. Yeah. Harrison fell for it. Too beat it. So need your help. Let's have a look around. Nick, let me have your gun. There they are. Keep that wagon moving. and shot bad. Get out from there. We gotta get him to town quick. He ain't dead, is he? He's got a chance. Them outlaws held me up and took Harrison's money. Well, I couldn't help it. Them bandits got him sticking at me. It's one wonder I wasn't killed. It's a wonder I don't kill you right now. Now make tracks. If I catch you around this neck of the woods again, you'll eat more lead than you can digest. Yeah, and that goes for me, too. Jeff. You take my horse. We gotta get him to a doctor quick. I'll drive. Get in. Come on. Get in. Doc said you'd be good as new in a couple of weeks, Mr. Harrison. A couple of weeks? Do you realize what that'll mean? Well, yes. Getting your health back is important. But Sloan and his gang will take over. Maybe you won't have things so easy. Billy, you've just got to reconsider. 
You've got to help me make Sage Valley a decent, respectable community. No, but I can't the job. Isn't there a ranch around here that can handle it? You saw what happened to Tim Pine. Yeah. I wish I could help you. Will you sit down? You're making me nervous. Yeah? How do you suppose I feel? There's no telling what Billy's doing in there. Well, there's one way to find out. Yeah? How? Wait till he comes out. Maybe you're right. We got a job to do. Where are we at? To the casino. Sure. Yeah, looks like it. I reckon you don't have to change your mind now. Say, Bill, what's gotten into you? Ever since you came out of Harrison's, you've been acting strange. Close mouth as a clam. Yeah. I thought you said we had a job to do. We do have a job to do. I hope I'm not intruding, Bill. No, no, not at all. As a matter of fact, I've been wanting to talk to you. You remember Fuzzy and Jack? Yeah, hello. <laughs> Won't you sit down? Thank you. Well? Did you notice anything strange when the sheriff was shot? In the coach, I mean. What do you mean, strange? He drew his gun and he suddenly slumped over. What were the others doing? Why, they were shooting. At the outlaws? Certainly at the outlaws. Why? I was just asking. Look, are you the new sheriff? I know, ma'am. Well, until you are, stop playing, sheriff. I'd like to ask the same question she did. Jack, what are you up to, Billy? Maybe I've changed my mind about being sheriff. And then I walked away from them. Wouldn't look good to start off a new town government with a shooting scrape. Slim, your first job as sheriff would be the rest of those saddle tramps. We can take care of them later. Everything clear? Yeah. Yeah. You'd better make a good sheriff, Slim. You won't have any trouble from me. That's fine. I don't think we'll have any more trouble from Harrison, either. Sloan, lock this up in the safe. Tell those suckers out there that Slim has been elected their new sheriff. Are you going to stick around? No. I'd better keep under cover until we take the town over. Janet and me are going up to the hideout. You boys come up later and let me know the results. Go on, go on, get going. Bill, did you uh, mean what you said a while ago? Yeah, really? Gonna take on that sheriff job? Still got my credentials. Uh-oh. Here comes our friend. Look! Let me have your attention, please. We have just counted the ballots. And Slim Jenkins here has been unanimously elected sheriff of St. Valley. Congratulations, Sheriff. It ain't on the level. He's fooling. Where's Harrison and what's he doing? And to make it legal, here's a brand new bed. It's never been worn. Hold it, son. I think you've made a mistake. Mayor Harrison appointed me sheriff yesterday. Here's your authorization. Why, yes, I think there has been a little mistake. Drop your guns. I said drop your guns. Nice work, Nick. Now you pin the badge back on the sheriff.
first job of sheriff is to arrest this man for the murder of Kim Fine. That's a way to talk. Sloan's guilty and he'll hang. That's the kind of action we want. You heard what I said, Sloan? You won't get away with this. I'm doing all right so far. Get going. Hey, Billy. What do you want done with these varmints? Leave them. Come on. Hey, he's doing all right for his water. I'm cleaning up this town. And with the authority vested in me, I hereby swear you in as sheriff of Sage Valley. Now we got a real sheriff, boys. Sloan and his gang are through. I don't know what to say, fellas, except I'll do my best. Well, us ranchers are all with you. Run the farmers out of Sage Valley. We know we can depend on you, Billy. I guess I'd better get going, Mr. Harrison. I've got a prisoner to look after. Well, if you need anything, call on me. Thank you, sir. All right, fellas. Well, I think we made a good selection. Except for that scar and that soup strainer he's got on his upper lip there, he, he's a spitting image of you, Billy. Yeah, without that mustache, he looks enough like you to be your brother. Where'd you get this? There's a whole bundle of them over there on the desk. You know, no wonder we've been getting blamed for a lot of crimes. Well, he's supposed to floating around over the country. Any idea who he is? Wouldn't be surprised if he's the one causing all the trouble around here. I had a brother. He died soon after I left home. Boy, you had me going for a minute. Yeah, me too. I think this Kansas is the leader of the gang that killed the sheriff, held up the stage, and tried to kill Harrison when they stole his money. Well, that adds up. Let's go after him. You know, it'd sort of be fun kind of rounding up those varmints. Now, let's just... May I come in? Come in. I want to talk to you about Kansas. Won't you sit down? Thank you. You know about him. We've heard a few things. What's on your mind? Well, I've been talking to him, and he's decided to give himself up. Nice girl. Yeah. You see, well, I've been in love with Kansas for a long time, and. Well, ever since we've met, I've tried to straighten him out and make him a law-abiding citizen, like you. He'd never listened to me before, but now he's beginning to see things differently. Well, we're open for business every day. It's just one thing. He wants to see you alone first, and that's just to talk things over. I don't see what good. Oh, please do it for me. All I need is a little convincing, and... Of course, you don't know how much it means to me to get Kansas straightened out, but... Oh, please do it. All right, I'll go with you. Thanks, Billy. It won't take long, and you'll not be sorry for helping me. Mind waiting a minute? It may be a trap. I'm curious to hear what he has to say. Besides, I'd like to meet him. How about five bucks is a trap? At least I'm walking into it with my eyes open. It's on the level, we can clean this town up. If it isn't, you boys know what to do. Yeah, what kind of posies do you like? <laughs> Ready, Miss Janet? You know, Fuzzy, this one don't add up. What do you mean? That gal's doing a noble thing. Yeah? No maverick was ever thrown or branded with words. Funny, funny business, Mr. Sheriff. Get his gun. 
Quite an actress, honey. She sure is. Said you wanted to have a talk. Sure. We'll have a talk. Janet, you and the boys go outside. Sheriff and I have got a little private business. Okay. Thanks for the double cross. Sit down, have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. I'm all right here. I said sit down. Everyone said we ought to meet. I've heard the same thing. Seems like we met before. First time I've been in this part of the country. Come from Kansas, don't you? Never mind where I come from. What do you want with me? I'm gonna play sheriff for a while. Let me have them close. Quick. You know, Jeff, Billy ought to be back by now. You want me to say I told you so? If those Mavericks have done anything to him, why, I'll see in their eyes. Well, Billy, it's about time you got back. Never mind all that. Uh, give me the keys. I'm releasing Sloan. Sloan? Well, sure, Bill. They're, uh, they're right here. But I thought we were holding him for trial. No evidence. What do you think, Jeff? The same thing you do. I'll see you boys later. Well, what do you know about that? I only know one thing. Something's happened to Billy. Yeah, but what? Why, if those varmints... Come on, let's find him. Our new sheriff for them crooks, and he really slowed, too. It don't look right. Harrison ought to know about this. Very clever, Sheriff. What do we do now? Get busy on the ranch's IOUs. They can't pay. You know what to do. Right. He sold out. That's what he done and went over to Sloan's side. I can't believe it. We all saw it with our own eyes. Where are those other fellows that were with him? We went over to the Sheriff's office, but they've skipped town. I tell you, Harrison, something's got to be done. Sloan's gave us 24 hours to pay up them IOUs. If we don't pay him, he's going to take our ranches. There's trouble brewing. Well, there's something mighty funny about this whole thing. We're not going to let him get away with it, Jed. Come on, man. Wait. We've waited too long now. Where do we go now? We gotta keep looking, Fuzz. Come on. Hold it, Fuzz. Say, there's Billy's horse. Yeah. Come on. Billy, 
you all right? Sure. Where's Campbell? Well, he came in and released Sloan. We thought that... I know, I know. We haven't got any time to lose. Hurry. Where are you? Guns. We don't want any more trouble. Now, wait a minute. I'm your sheriff. This outfit here doesn't belong to us. Yeah, we know all about that. You're mighty clever in changing around, but you ain't fooling us anymore. Now, look, I'm trying to tell you that... Come on, man. Bring them along. Come on, let's go. Looks like we played the wrong cards. I played them wrong by taking the sheriff's job. Oh, they can't do nothing to us. No, no? No. You'd be lucky if they don't hang us. But, Billy, with that Kansas fellow running around loose, it looks That's like... That's just it, Jeff. Now, the ranch is convinced that I've been masquerading as bandit and sheriff. We'll be blamed for everything around here. Well, I'm not going to take it laying down. I do it all the time. If you guys had listened to me, we'd have been on our way. Oh, shut up, Fuzz. You're always moaning when we get into a jam. Don't make any noise. Wait here till Fuzzy brings Harrison and the ranches. You're not going in there alone. I think you ought to get my clothes. Well, I'm going with you. I said wait here, Jeff. Take my gun, Bill. No, thanks. Don't think I'll need it. Kansas inside? Yeah, he's inside. You see, we didn't finish our talk. Hello, Kansas. <laughs> Take it easy. Thought we'd finish our talk. Sure, we'll talk. Leave us alone, Nick. But I have to say this fellow's private. Tell the men outside to make sure he come along. If you need me, I'll be right outside. I don't think I'll need any help this time. Sit down. What's on your mind? I thought you and me ought to know each other a little better. Sure. You don't very often find two fellows who looks the same. You know who I am? Sure. You're Billy the Kid. That's right. And you're Ed Bonnie, my brother. You're crazy. Sit still. Hold it. Get in here. Found this fellow sneaking around outside. There's one more. His friend, the fellow with the whiskers. I think I know what's going on. I think you're pretty clever, don't you, Billy? But you're not clever enough. This other friend of yours is bringing the ranches and Harrison. You thought you'd entertain me until they arrived. Get up. We're getting out of here, taking these two with us. Finish our business in town. In town? It's just where they won't be looking for us. Get going.
Right over there. All right, boys. Let's spread out and surround the place. make any noise and we'll sneak in on them. It looks like they've given us a slip and taken Billy and Jeff with them. You mean they joined up with them? If there is two of them. Well, sure there's two of them. One of them's this Candace Ed who's been doing all the murdering around here. The other one's my pal, Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid, huh? Yeah. No, I know where I've seen him. But Billy didn't have nothing to do with that. That's enough. Come on, men. Now we know what we're up against. Two of the worst outlaws in this country joined up. Come on. Hey, no, no, wait a minute. You're, you're barking up the wrong tree. Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. You do. You do. You do. Kansas, darling. Hello, Kansas. You've got a lot to do. Leave that saddle tramp out here. You don't believe in fighting fair, do you? No. But you can tell me about it sometime. Harrison and the rancher just rode out of town an hour ago. They're looking for us. When he comes back to town, we'll settle with him. From now on, this town's gonna be run my way. This time, I'm staying. Come on in the office. We'll finish our little talk. Wait a minute, Slim. This is private. Gives you the crazy idea we're brothers. For one thing, we look alike. Yeah? What else? Nothing in particular. Now get this and get it straight. I'm not your brother and my name's not Bonnie. Made quite a reputation for yourself as Billy the Kid, haven't you? You're doing all right yourself. And I'm gonna do better. Thought you were gonna take over this town. You made a nice try getting appointed sheriff. But there's no room for the two of us around here. I'd like you to answer me just one thing. Yeah? What? Did Mom die before you left home?
I'm sorry, Ed. But from now on, things are going to be different. With you, Mom and me. Mom? Mom died a year ago. Things will be different. I didn't know, Billy. It's all right, Jeff. Just get off in the wrong wood. Well, Billy the Kid, you saved us the trouble of hanging your pal here. But you and the others will be dancing on the end of a rope. You thought you were pretty clever, didn't you? Well, you even had me fool for a while. Come on, get moving. You'll find Sloan and the others in the closet in the saloon. You'll listen to me. Yeah, if there is a next time. From the looks of it, we're gonna end things right here. I can't understand Harris turning on us. What's the idea, Harris? Never mind. Follow me. Sure had his fool, Mr. Harrison. It was the only way. I never could convince the ranchers that Billy the Kid wasn't in with Kansas and his gang. Well, you'd better get along before you run into any more trouble. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. Just one more thing, Billy. You boys can always count on the mayor of Sage Valley if you ever need any help. Thank you, Mayor. We won't forget. So long. So long, Goodbye. Mayor. 